Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, thecommentsystem.com. Check out my websites, my DVD specials. I give you a lot of information. 26 years I've been training. Okay, um, I'm showing a neat little setup. I do some kick entries and a punch rhythm now. Kick punch, kick punch. I do a lot of stuff like that. This one is an outside calf kick to a corking overhand right or an overhand punch, but switching your stance. Um, you can see me use this as naturally in sparring. Uh, against uh, my student Vladimir with the headgear on, I just kind of did this one. I go, I've watched them like, oh, that really works, so I'm gonna start teaching it and people start using it. So if I'm a proponent of the calf kicks, Cub Swanson, Dustin Poirier, use them a lot. Like I've been preaching, I've been putting the videos out there, I'll have a big article on it published tonight on pullingthemainnow.com. Calf kicks, calf kicks, calf kicks, sweeps, the wave of the future in MMA. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and kick his calf. And this one's just more like a distraction. You know, I'd give him a little bit of pain and drop his guard and make him think about that. And I corkscrew this right hand over the top. Kick, corkscrew. Now, if I hit him in the temple with my four knuckle, great. Hit him down here on the chin, great. But I'm really aiming here to here. The hits in the back of the ear, whoops, illegal. But it happens, and that's a very dizzying punch hitting the guy behind the, the ear. So it also kind of. Boom, boom. Now it's kind of a broken rhythm, right? Because guy's not used to ba -bum, ba -bum, that rhythm, right? So, kick, punch. Okay, and a lot of times, though I'm a big gloves, if he just covers this way instead of a full cover, like a lot of guys do, they just put their hand there and we'll sneak in for a little hole. Okay, now uh, Jonathan's going to attack me and I'm going to show some possible defenses towards us. I showed it to the inside, I didn't show it to the outside. So for an outside calf kick, you can do a hard check. Boom. Okay? So you're gonna lift your heel and put your shin out to hurt him. This is what Mal had done a couple weeks ago in Muay Thai and destroyed the guy's leg and he just needed some kicks to the shin after that to win TKO in the second round. So I'm gonna point it out. So I'm gonna lift my heel, point it out. Let's show that again. Here. Then if he came with this combination, go ahead. I'm gonna go here and cover. And of course, then counter right would be good. So there you go. Card check, cover, counter right, two, three, two. Something like that would be good. Okay? Um, if you happen to naturally do, you're a looser fighter like I do a lot, more like the cheetah. Um, you lose psychologically and physically without tension. You'll see, I made a highlight video of me and all my students doing it. A lot of my students were lifting all the way over the leg, or they're just loosey goosey and taking it. So if you do one of those, You'll still cover, or you can end up with a clinch. So go to kick my leg, and then do the overhand punch, the combination. Boom, I might find a clinch off of that to hip crease takedown, or uh, like a double leg, something like that. For this thing, something like that. But unless you're coming in, well, I'm coming in on something. You could clinch off a bit, or you could still just cover. Go the counter. Boom, 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 boom. boom. You got a nice tight cover. That would work as well. Or if I just lift here, that's okay. So if you do do a full lift defense, go for a calf kick. And where I'm going to do a full lift defense, that he's going to go through and end up out of position. Go for a kick. That's just a kick. kick right Boom, ends up out of position. You're going to clinch. Back control, whatever. He gets all, he overcommits to the kick and gets out of position. So let's go over that. So give me a hard calf kick. If I lift, boom, he's out of position. Go for an inside calf kick. If I do a full lift defense, Boom, guy's out of position. Okay? Or clinching, right? So takedown opportunities will present themselves if you're loose or even sometimes just ride the energy out. Both sides again. Both sides again. Even if I do something like that. Okay? Or it hits me and I just ride it out. Boom. I can open up and fill in this stuff. Because I'm loose and the counters will happen. I made a highlight video on calf kick, low, uh, calf kick sweeps, super low kicks. Check that out. I hope you enjoyed this. And... Uh, Try that combination for the cat kick. Thanks.